hurricane's looking like it's weakening. Yeah, well. I'm we were sort of looking forward to sleeping sleep in, in Thursday yeah. now, and now it's sort of waddled, though. <laughs> Bummer, but I'm glad it's uh, weakening. Love you. I love you, too. Yeah, we were counting our chickens before they were fully hatched. We'll see. Good morning, Ruby. Johnny's doing Tux relocation services again. We're a little late. It's 6.34. Seventy three, lots of low clouds this morning, a little foggy. Uh, there's one rain band that's actually from the hurricane that's not too far south of us. It's you know not a heavy band or anything, but it would officially be rain from Dorian. It's just not real pretty out here this morning. Yep, we can't see any of the tall buildings this morning. Raleigh, uh, it sits low, I guess. It's high. I don't know. Anyway, we can't see any of the any of the buildings this morning. It's a little thicker here than it was on uh, the rest of our drive. Even they're up there somewhere, though. I got Johnny dropped off at 7:20 a.m. So I guess we made pretty good time in traffic. He certainly was far from being late. It's well dressed Wednesday, and um. You know, he was dressed up in his white shirt and tie this morning, looking pretty sharp. Yep, pretty sharp. Uh, let's see. I'm just sitting here playing Pokemon for a few minutes, getting ready to head back to Fuquay. I don't think we have anything special on the agenda for today. I'm probably going to stop at Walmart when I get back to town. And, uh, yeah, that's it this morning. I guess, uh, you know, there was a little bit of a stir in the news yesterday about folks couldn't get uh, connected to the Tesla app. And then I guess a few <laughs> folks not carrying their um, key card for the Model 3 um, weren't able to get in their cars. And then today, uh, continuing, because it started yesterday too, a lot of the superchargers or all of them on the East Coast are marked as... Um, offline not available but yet the chargers working when you get there um don't exactly know what's going on with that some folks have speculated that um the tesla servers were under some sort of a ddos uh, attack i have no confirmation of that but i'm kind of monitoring that i i guess i do think it probably would be appropriate if tesla would uh tweet about the supercharger status especially with folks potentially evacuating due to the storm. I don't think what's going on has anything to do with the fact that they um, were going to allow free supercharging and open up the full capacity of some of the battery packs like they have done previously during the storm, which I think is awesome, by the way. But I just, I think probably a tweet, which I just, it could be out there, but I haven't seen it, saying that, um, you know, even though the status shows that they're offline, uh, the vast majority of them are up and running. Um, just navigate or go, you know, stop anyway. Uh, probably needs some communication about that. Yeah. But other than that, that's all that's going on this morning. Uh, except for those low-lying clouds, which are making it feel a little dreary out there today software updates coming to the car um in the evening are messing me up remember to tell you guys about them um, plus i guess when don moves the car in the morning the um, release notes aren't staying up on the screen but ruby did get a new software update last night it does seem like they're coming faster now that we have it turned on to like give it to us right away uh 2019 dot 32.1 is the software release we're on now. The only thing I saw new in the release notes was that you can come down to service and there, if you change your wheels, that you can go into wheel configuration and I guess uh, tell it what kind of wheels you have now. So, um cool. I don't plan to change the wheels, but I can see why that would be uh, 
a good thing to allow um, the driver, the owner, to do that. Well, the uh, low clouds haven't really started to burn off too much yet. Well, that's about what you would expect. Water, gas tanks, and propane. Well, they weren't kidding about Matchbox not coming in until the 8th or the 9th. They do have um, these new Sky um, series here from Matchbox. Hey, Tux. Tuxy. Hi, buddy. There's my good boy. With the 11 a.m. update, Dorian is now predicted to be a Cat 2 again off the coast of North Carolina. I guess it's a difference between 110 mile per hour winds and 100 mile per hour winds. It also has a little bit to do with how far inland the effects can be felt. So, <laughs> I just feel like we're on the pogo stick. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Just go away. Do, do what you're going to do. A Cat 2 storm. We've had plenty of those. It'll be an inconvenience and there'll be some scattered power outages and a few trees over. Hopefully no loss of life because we've had plenty of time to get out of the way of the storm. And let's just get it over with and be done with it and move on because I've been talking about this storm for two weeks now. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I just want it to be through. But it's nice and sunny and it's not, it's pretty. I was going to tell you what the temp is, but I don't know because Ruby hasn't been out of the garage that long. It's not cool. It's 80 something, 84. Let's just go with 84. It feels like 84 out there to me. Um, but it's sunny and it's pleasant. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Johnny texted me from school. It's like, Mom, it's looking good again for us missing school. <laughs> Oh, I don't blame him. If I was his age, that's probably exactly what I'd be doing too. Yep, yep, yep. So I'm on my way to pick him up. It's 1.27 p.m. I'm on time. Yes, I am. I'm on time. Don said yesterday he had trouble getting on the street leading up to the school. He was like the last car that would fit. So you really got to time it down there. Better to be a little late than a little early or very early, which is not ever going to happen for me. And, uh... Yeah, so not a lot going on at the house this morning. We watched the Thai Con uh, premiere. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> no, we watched it. It looks like a cool car. I can't wait to test drive one or drive a friend's or, you know, something. Not the car I would put in my garage, but it it looks sweet. It looks like they're serious about it. Um so yeah, that was pretty cool. That was that was cool happenings. You should go back and watch the replay of the video if you've got a few minutes. I would say I got a little impatient about the time it was taking them to actually bring the car out on stage. And then, of course, we didn't get any pictures of the what's under the bonnet or the trunk or the... Well, we saw the dash and it looks minimalistic with some old school... Um, uh, features, the rounded kind of dials there, but it looked pretty, pretty cool. There's an optional passenger screen, um, plus a middle screen and in front of the driver. It looked, it looked cool. I'd like to see it in person. I'd like to have an opportunity to drive it for sure when that happens. And Amazon sent me an invite finally to go order the, uh, Echo Auto so that you can have, uh, A in your car. Yeah, so $25 later, I've ordered it, and it's on the way. It took me a few seconds after the email arrived to order it. I've been waiting on that. I still want more, you know, internet voice stuff um, in the car. Of course, you'd have to have really great connectivity to make use of it, but I'd like it available whether the internet's good enough for it or not. So when that comes, obviously I'll be demoing that. I have lately, I've not had the Roav Viva plugged in um, since it was possibly had something to do with some funky stuff that happened to the um, range, estimated range diagnostics uh, predictions on the car. Everything is all back to normal now after unplugging it and the dash cam every night for like three weeks now. Um, maybe I don't think I talked about that before. Maybe more about that another day. I just kind of avoided talking about it because it's one of those 
non-clear things. There was like no, couldn't be accurate. So I was careful not to say anything until I knew what I was talking about. But anyway, now that it's 1.30 p.m., I need to go get Johnny. So I've got Johnny. And what's the question of the afternoon, Johnny? It's Thursday and Friday cancel. For school. Yep. <laughs> yep. We still don't know. And I guess they keep waffling on the forecast. So I can certainly understand why uh, the superintendent, administration, the people that make the call about school would be uh, undecided yet. And what was that text that just came to mom's phone? School's canceled. School's closed tomorrow. Yay! We all just want to sleep in, guys. We just want to sleep in. That was almost an accident One there. What? What's that? Go turn off your alarm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I wish I could turn off the two other ones. That would be the cats. Oh, well, can't help you there. Look what came in the mail today for the van or the XB. There's a couple of them there. So, uh, I was going to go out and do Pokemon Go Legendary Raid Hour, but uh, I just was running late tonight. And I'm getting some really fantastic help searching yeah. my family sister, tree. Yeah. Yep, yep, from uh, a Tesla friend. Yeah. <laughs> now good friend. So, uh, that's kind of exciting. And I think I'd rather delve into that than go throw a few extra Pokeballs today. I'm studying my father's right. parents and then hopefully my grandparents at some point. Right. Well, I... Um... I didn't, I was really tired. It's kind of zapped this morning. It wasn't an energy thing. It's just, I was just didn't feel like, I was blah. So yeah. So I, I uh, came back after you left and took a nap. So I'm going to go run now. And I guess, uh, you know, for tomorrow, I hope it's, um, you know, we, we don't have to say anything about, you don't video anything with Dawn and a chainsaw. We don't want any content that involves a chainsaw tomorrow. That's right, right. So that's, that's a little bit hope. of rain off the front porch, watching the rain come down, that'd yeah. be okay. But as long yeah. as there's no, yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't want anything that requires a chainsaw to correct. Well, you be careful out there. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, cloudy and not too hot. What's the temperature? 85 it's 85 out yeah, there like so that. it's not as cool as it no, looks but but i i'm um i can you know it might be pouring tomorrow and you won't be able to run right well i mean i guess the smart guy would run early tomorrow you know when i but get we up. won't be up that early that's right so i won't be running tomorrow morning either so <laughs>